hello, 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 hello. Hi, welcome to Crafty Me. My name's Hanami. I forgot what I was doing. I've been wanting to try palette knife painting. You know, like with the thick paint. You know. So, I went and bought this cheap set, plasticky, nothing fancy, of different um, types of palette knives. And then, so I didn't want to buy a bunch of really thick bodied expensive paint. Um, I found this. I discovered that you can add things to acrylic paint. What are they called? Mediums. I had no idea. But I found this beginner's kit and it's got gesso in it, which I know what gesso is. It's got a gloss gel medium, which I guess is what you can add to acrylic paint to make it thicker. Then a modeling paste, which I'm assuming is like even thicker? Iridescent medium. Mm. And then a coarse texture. A lumpy, make paint lumpy. I have a couple canvases I had around the house. Um, I was gonna do the big one, but I don't know if I have enough of this to do a big one. And I don't wanna go back to the store. I have no idea if this has come out and looking like a poo poo because I've never ever done this before and I'm a little nervous. All right, so let's get busy. Okay, so those, the paint palette. Okay, so let's push that aside. I want to do is like an oceany theme and I want to include my favorite fishy of all. My friend I made up and put on the hat when I did a dollar store makeover. Well, I've got some blues of my regular acrylic paint. Here's some more blues. I'm pretty sure this stuff here is fancier and thicker. So let's start with this gel gloss medium. So I guessing you squirt some out and then I'm guessing I add this to it. Oh, oh I see what's happening. Let's try adding more. Oh. So it's like kind of holding its shape. I see, I see. Let's make up, mix up some more blues I know I'm gonna wanna use. I think that's mixed, yeah. Yeah, come back over here. Scooch you guys over. Been a few days since I worked on it, so this is nice and dry. So I think I need to do more water down this side. Let's finish this up. Okay, I think I'm gonna work on like the rock and some of the plants. For that, I'm gonna use the modeling paste. Ooh, do I like that brown? I don't like it. Oh. Mm, look at that, it's thick. Let's mix it up. <laughs> Looks like I'm smearing chocolate all over my artwork. Not dry. Fine, let's go to your project for school. I guess that's important. It's drying, and I've noticed that this is super shiny, and this dried like super matte. I'm dumb. This is like gloss gel, so of course they would just would dry glossy. But anyway, I thought that was kind of cool. Okay, got all my greens. No. Mm. Meow. 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 Now let's add some blouse. Ooh, the tiny. over on 
I hear. I hate doing voiceovers. I think I sound drunk when I listen back to them. So I don't, I don't know. Anyway, I have to do voiceover because I realize the rest of my footage has no audio. Yay. I guess my mic got unplugged somehow. I don't know. All right, let's move on. Got out the hat of Mr. Puffer Fish for reference. Now squeezing out that last bit of paste I have to mix up for his body color. Now just paint big old circle on there like I'm frosting a cake. Now to make the uh, eyeball apart. And while that dries, I decided to try and make the plants not so flat. I kind of like dry brushed darker colors onto it. And after I did that, I thought they just looked dirty. <laughs> the plants are definitely my least favorite part of this whole painting. So as I said earlier, I did have to go back to the store and I had to get more of the gel gloss and the matte paste. And once I did that, I get started on his belly. And I use that same white to make his eyeballs. And after that, I made a big wasteful pile of the mediums and I went ahead and made that yellow to get started on his fiends. There's one fiend and two fin. And then I use that same yellow to start on his spikes. And once I started getting more spikes on there, I was a little less nervous. I was so nervous that this was gonna come out like poo poo. Crapola. Went ahead and mixed up some lighter yellow for the belly spikes and got those on there. Now to get started on this purdy mile. He's probably the cutest thing I've ever made and I'm including my kids when I say that. Now making the black part of his eyeballs and I realized when I made this one it was way bigger than the other and he looks all cracked out but uh, I went ahead and fixed it with my paintbrush. Now time for freckers. His little spotty spot freckledy things. I love this part of him. I just think it just makes him 10 times cuter. And now for the white shiny parts of his eyes, one and a two. And for the last final touch after that all dried, I took a white Posca pen and I drew the little white lines on his fins. And last but not least, my signature there right in the corner. And here it is. My first try at palette knife painting and trying mediums and whatnot. I love him, and I definitely love how I did the water in the background. Like I said before, I am not a fan of the plants. I think they look like a little child did them. No offense, little children. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching me struggle through this, and see you next time. Bye.